Hi there, it's Matt Rose, and this is the channel Wig With. And uh, if you could like, share, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. And I'm a new channel, so I'm just starting out here in this uh, brave new uh, YouTube world. Any help can help a long way. So hit that bell for your notifications and help me out here. Uh, big thing I'm going to go over today is the education. The school openings in Alberta just seem like it's such a bungled mess right now. I've listened to a bunch of like the NDP talking about it. I've heard like what the UCP is saying. UCP is just blowing smoke out their butts like usual. Uh, the NDP is asking for a 15 student cap, something they're doing in Ontario and a lot of other places in the world. You know, like, you go to other countries and they have, like, dividers in between students. They have, you know, sanitation stations in the classroom. Like, we don't have funding for any of those things and we're just going to rush, like, up to 45 kids in a classroom. It just seems brazen and it's wrong and, you know, kids should not be guinea pigs in a COVID-19 world. We are really dealing with a virus that nobody has any clue what what it is, how it's going to affect us down the line, and what its effects on children or teens are going to be. And a lot of the, the studies are showing that teenagers are very capable of getting this virus at just the same rate as adults. So, you know, a lot of these kids, you know, the 12 to 16, 18 year old range, you know, they could have long-term lung damage from, you know, getting COVID. So, saying that this isn't a great risk to teens, saying that this isn't a long-term risk to health, those are things that the UCP are definitely sidestepping. Um, you know, a lot of teachers say, and it's pretty obvious from anybody that's been in a school, Physical distancing is going to be impossible. You have 45 kids in a classroom. It's just not enough space. Sanitation is next to impossible. Like, how are you going to wash all of the desks, all the floor, everything that the kids touch, you know? Like, I, I believe kids are really smart, and, you know, they're going to take this seriously. But at the same point, there's a lot of them, and it doesn't take... A, more than a couple of them to like offset what anybody's already done or however good the rest of them are being right so why does the premier want to test this on children why does he want to let them you know be the guinea pigs in a COVID-19 world we all know that the changes would cost money but you know we've cut so much money back and they're saying that oh well we've got rainy day savings but those rainy day savings have been, you know, being used since the UCP took government. Because, like Rachel Notley says, the second the UCP took power, it started raining. So, you know, those piggy banks are probably not very big right now. Another big thing I'm going over with you guys today is the Wii scandal. So, this is a $912 million scandal. It was to from government to... Uh, a Canada Student Service Grant, so, you know, it's supposed to get students working during the summer and stuff, good program probably, but, you know, the way that they handled this was just a mess, and they're obviously not coming clean about it. Uh, they proposed the pick the best charity for the grant, but then uh, April 22nd, they announced the We Charity was the best one, even though nobody on the panel seems to understand who... Who made we the best charity? So this whole panel is picked out to decide which panel to pick, and they decided, no, we're going to pick we, and nobody knows who decided. So somebody on that panel needs to fess up, or all of them need to fess up. Uh, Bill Morneau was just on um, in a committee, and he was being grilled about these questions. He's basically saying he doesn't know who decided ultimately to do the $912 million in spending. Uh, he received 41000 in luxury accommodations from a charity that paid Margaret Trudeau 300 k to speak at charity events. 
uh, to charity events between 2016 and 2020. So they've given money back and forth between Trudeau and this charity, and then they're signed up for a $912 million charity just randomly, right? Uh, where did Morneau think the money was coming from for these for these trips, you know, like they just say that they all agreed that this was the best uh, best thing for uh, this, you know, Canada Service Grant, Canada Student Service Grant for students, you know. Sounds like probably these guys have already spent all too much money and they knew this was too much and they knew this was going to not just blow over. So they they brought it up, you know. They made it a big deal, and now, like, they're going to grill probably Murnau. They'll take a few hits in the polls, but, you know, like, I think there's something else bigger with CERB and all the spending we just recently did, $250 billion or so. I think we got to look a lot further into what they're spending this money on over the course of this uh, pandemic, or as I've been calling it, a pan session, because we have hit a recession from a pandemic, and there's no recovery in sight, folks. So, uh, I'm Matt Rose, this is the channel Wig With. I'll try and keep you guys informed on these as recent developments come to light. You know, uh, the health situation is still going on in Alberta with the doctors, so. Any hey, big news on that comes along, I'll definitely make a video about that. And uh, just hit like, hit share, hit subscribe. I need it. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.